Please remain in operations while security lockdown is in effect. Oh! 
resource is running out. You realize that, don't you? <laughs> Look, the fact of the matter is, something had to be done. Where does arguing get us? Nowhere. Disagree <laughs> then. This isn't about personal glory or fortune. Project Resolve is the largest thing ever. Ugh! <laughs> 
behind Project Resolve with us today. <laughs> Jonah, if I may call you Jonah. Absolutely. We don't need to stand on ceremony here. As we like to say, at Creo, we're all family. It's a privilege to have you. I could do with a little help here, you know. Autopsy of number D70739, Clive Henderson. Male, 28. Back, neck, and skull have been opened. Cerebrum, cervical and thoracic region of the spinal cord are exposed. All neural implants have been removed. This is the seventh victim discovered with a similar pathology, but the perpetrator's MO is evolving. The first victim's neural implants were removed with some precision, but in the more recent cases, now, tissue damage around the spinal column and brain indicate that the perpetrator may have tried to remove the implant with his bare hands. personnel only beyond this point.
Autopsy of number D70739, Clive Henderson. Male, 28. Back, neck and skull have been opened. Cerebrum, cervical and thoracic region of the spinal cord are exposed. All neural implants have been removed. This is the seventh victim discovered with a similar pathology, but the perpetrator's MO is evolving. The first victim's neural implants were removed with some precision, but in the more recent cases, now tissue damage around the spinal column and brain indicate that the perpetrator may have tried to remove the implant with his bare hands.
I'm getting worried about Ed. Ever since we started to implant team members with neural links, he's lost it. And yes, we checked and rechecked his implant. I'm worried he's having some kind of psychotic break. He's becoming totally divorced from reality. We've been in human testing for over a year. I mean, we're the development team and he's our software solutions lead. But he insists that his thoughts aren't his own, that someone's there with him. Creepy stuff, but nuts, right? personnel only beyond this point. Yes, I've definitely called. Uh, 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 u